is uh, my first YouTube broadcast, so we'll see how it goes. It's um, what is it? It's 11:39 on Tuesday morning. Uh, I'm talking to you from my office in Westminster. The sirens are wailing outside. Um, very busy week here in Westminster this week. We've got the budget coming up tomorrow. More on that in a moment. Uh, but first, um, thanks to everybody that signed my petition to stop the parking charges at the Peel Hospital in Mile Oak. We've now got over 700 signatures online, and we've got many, many more where people have signed up on paper in doctor's surgeries and in shops around the town. And I'll be handing those over to the hospital trust shortly to try to persuade them to drop their plans for parking charges, which are going to hit the vulnerable and people who are visiting their friends and their relatives in hospital. We've also got, at the end of this week, uh, the handover ceremony for the 600 or so beanie hats that people all around Tamworth and beyond have knitted for the 3rd Battalion, the Mercy and Regiment, the Staffords, who with the 4th Battalion are going out to Afghanistan at the end of this year. And people all around the town have knitted beanie hats that the guys can wear under their Kevlar helmets to uh, make those helmets a bit more comfortable. Uh, this Friday we're handing over the hats to the battalion at Whittington Barracks and we're taking about 18 knitters with us. So we should have a great day out for all the people who helped knit those hats. Now the budget. We've got a, uh, a very important budget coming up tomorrow. I'm hoping that there's going to be some real help for families, for childcare, uh, for taxpayers. Let's see if the Chancellor can do something to reduce the tax burden on taxpayers and also for motorists. I hope there's something in the budget which will help motorists as well. As we know, the um, fuel duty escalator has been scrapped, so that means that the 10 pence increase in fuel duty that Labour would have imposed hasn't been imposed and that's saving Midlands motorists like you and me something like £150 every year. Anyway, I did promise myself this was going to be a short uh, introductory YouTube clip, but uh, tune in tomorrow when I'll be giving you my uh, feedback and my take on the budget once it's happened. So uh, thanks very much for listening.